had the privilege of going to law school and certain things just started to click and reading about certain uh, um, opinions, if you will, by amazing people like Chief Justice William Richardson himself and just some of the decisions that he made and the reasons that he made them, which to me, they were so different from the norm. Um, an example being the way that water is treated and our water rights and the body of law that surrounds rights to water here in Hawaii. It is clear that that's because he is a person of this place and grew up with a certain perspective and a certain way of thinking. And as it relates to even water rights, this notion of kako, it is a collective. You know, it's not individual. It's not only about individual rights, but it's about our collective rights as a people.